Hey everybody, we are back from England and it feels so good to be back in my own backyard getting ready to work on projects. I'm so inspired by what we saw there. There's so many great uh, examples of layouts and integrations of formal garden and informal spaces. Really excited to start to implement things in our project back in the space, uh, our, our, uh, our plot there that we're working on. But um, as a practical matter, I've got a problem to solve and uh, I thought I'd share it with you via video. And that is we've got koi that we brought from Seattle and uh, they're currently residing in a stock tank. And I'm really feeling the pressure to get them in the ground for the fall and winter. And so I think the first project I'm gonna do before we start laying out the plot back there is uh, a koi pond. And so I wanted to walk you through kind of what I'm thinking and how it's gonna work here. So I've got this space, I'll back up a little so you can see it. It's on the edge of the patio, there's power there uh, and beautiful lemon tree that's sort of this uh, you know, topiary style tree. But I'm thinking this will be a great koi pond area. And so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is take a playbook out of some of the gardens I saw in uh, England. And I've got some additional stone or really they're, they're concrete uh, pavers uh, that are smaller than this. I might walk around and show you there in the front, but there's like five of them. So I thought I'd do is dig out this entire space uh, around the lemon tree, keeping it in place, but then make a koi pond all the way around here. And uh, <laughs> sorry, that bird is really loud. I don't know if you can hear it or not. There's Jay behind me. Um, but make a koi pond anyway, uh, and it'll be around the tree. And then I'm gonna take the tree and I'm gonna uh, basically bonsai it out so it's not topiary style, it's more like a bonsai. Uh, and all the dirt I excavate, I'm gonna flip over and put back there. And then I'll have sort of a hedgerow behind it like boxwood or something like that. Uh, and get these koi in the ground. So that's the project I'm gonna work on. I'll fast forward through all of the video work and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing it come together. And uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I guess I could show you the koi, so we have it. So, okay, so let me show you the, the fish. So the, the fish are over here in a stock tank and we just rigged this up so that we could house them sufficiently until we, until we get the proper koi pond built out. So you can see we've got a really big one. His name's Jerry, uh, there he is. You've seen him in my videos from California. And uh, then we've got three medium-sized guys, uh, two orange and white and a yellow. And uh, they're way too big for the stock tank. So we know it's just a very short-term solution. But um, anyway, that's what's uh, kind of the urgency is that they just can't go through winter and that thing in the fall. I need to get them out of it. Okay, so I wanted to stop and make a video uh, and tell you kind of what I'm thinking and how I'm pr approaching this project. So, you know the original idea, which was to make a circle all around this cool lemon tree for the koi pond. And um, so, this is a ton of digging. <laughs> I've come to a realization, and that is that I could do this differently and actually have a good outcome, which is my new plan to do it in two phases. And so the two phases are gonna be to dig this basically around like half the lemon tree, and then I can line it so that I don't have to screw with the liner going over or around or cutting a circle in it to get it over the lemon tree. That way the koi will be up in here, and then right here I'm gonna have a stepping stone that uh, could go over to the little koi, uh, or just a little lemon tree island, the tree of life. And uh, so then we have the half circle of life and I'll finish that in the next, I don't know, month or something like that. And then I'll come back next year <laughs> when I have more time and energy and I'll finish the second half 
of the circle of life by just digging sort of the same half moon on this side. So this side will also have a liner that's fully contained, like a burrito or something like that, open burrito. And, uh, and that one would also have the same thing so that my liners don't have to be cut or glued together or anything like that. And it will also allow me to be done a lot faster with the first phase of the project. So anyway, there you have it. That's what I'm thinking. Will it work? I hope so. See you soon.